red, white, yellow, blue, and brew. At Threshold Brewing and Blending in Southeast Portland, people lined up, eager to raise money for Ukrainian refugees crossing into Poland. The brewery's owner is Polish, so is Ivana Erb. Donate, donate, donate. She organized the fundraiser. It's very emotional for me to even think because for centuries actually Poland was, was the Ukraine before. Uh, all the battles, all, all the wars were always in Poland. This is the, the Ukrainian-Polish connection. From George Jankowski, who came to the U.S. from Poland 40 years ago. Anything I can chip in. To Sheila Lipschutz, whose grandmother was born in Kiev. They're all here to do something, anything, to help. We may not all be able to go there and, you know, lend you humanitarian boots on the ground, but from our corner of the world we can do and, and we can show that what's in our heart and support people as best as we can. So we're on our way to the Polish border. And then there are the few who can put boots on the ground. I would say emotionally it's been challenging. For the last week, Hunter Baldridge, who grew up in Portland, has been in Krakow, driving refugees across the Ukrainian border in a rental car. He's a graduate student in Spain and felt compelled to help. So far, he's taken about 30 people to safety. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get up and we try and do about three runs. Each round trip is five hours. Two nights ago, we transported a mom with her two-month-old baby, and her five-year-old daughter, and she had a heavy bag with her and she was by herself. The things that they've gone through, the things that they've seen are things that I can't even begin to fathom. Hunter says most people helping along the border are volunteers from around the world. He wants more people to know what's happening here. You see on, on the news that you think that the world's in solidarity with this and many countries have spoken out against it, the situation, but on the ground, it's there's a lack of uh, services and, and there is a serious need uh, for actual serious disaster response here, because this is a disaster. Back in Southeast Portland, donations continue to roll in. The pride in these flags and compassion in these hearts, uniting from a world away. We love it. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Fundraising efforts will go on long after folks here go home tonight, but you can see donation information is available anytime. We'll post it on KGW.com so you can check it out and share with your friends. In Southeast Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News.